What if I give you KSP, then can you find solubility? So let us take a look at that. So for part A, in fact, for both instances, we want to determine the solubility for both of them given their KSP. A silver bromide, KSP is this value. So again, if I want to consider solubility, solubility has to be for a saturated solution, correct? The solution has to be saturated. The scenario is exactly the same. You have the dissolving of your salt. For your AGBR, it will split into solution to give me some Ag plus and Br minus. Eventually, the solution will be uh, saturated. And therefore, we can talk about solubility, we can talk about X. And uh, of course, we can link it to KSP, solubility product. So AGBR to give me Ag plus and Br minus. Dissociation is 1 is to 1 is to 1. So this will be X to X to X. So my KSP will be uh, Ag plus uh, concentration, which is X. Br minus concentration, which is also X. So therefore, this will be an X square. So once I have this as an X square, then X will just be the square root, square root of KSP. I will be able to get this value 7.31 times 10 to the power of minus 7. Again, once we can write out the dissociation and the relationship between KSP and uh, solubility, some schools use S to represent solubility. It doesn't matter. Lah, huh? You see which letter that you like. So I'll stick with X. So if you are given one term, you can find the other term. If you are given KSP, you can find X uh, and vice versa. So A, I think, shouldn't be that much of a problem. B, the idea is essentially the same. It's just the number of ions dissociated, it is different. One Ag, two CO3 will give me two Ag pluses and one carbonate. So the dissociation is uh, one is to two is to one. Uh, one is to two is to one. So therefore, x is to two x is to x. So my KSP, same thing. Ag plus square, all right, because I have two of them. Then carbonate uh, concentration. So Ag plus it is 2x, so this would be 2x squared. Then carbonate, uh, the coefficient is 1, so this would be x. So I can simplify this. Huh? My KSP will be 4x power 3. All right. So therefore, I can solve for x as well. No issue with that. x will be uh, KSP divided by 4 power 1 third. So this one is a cube root. And I can solve for my solubility, my x, 1.28 times 10 to the power of minus 4.